I'm a great believer in mastermind groups, and I wrote a book with Bill Hibbler called Meet and Grow Rich, where I talk about how to create your own mastermind. Well, I was in a mastermind with Bill and Pat O'Brien and Craig Perrine and a few other people, and one day I walked in, and I said, with no logical reason for me to state this, that I wanted to be in a movie. And I said that I wanted to be in a movie, and I didn't want any cameo appearance where I just kind of walked in and walked out. I wanted something where I was noted, and I wanted it to be something I'd be proud of. And when I stated it as a casual intention with no emotion on it and no real expectation of how it would work out and not knowing how it would work out, I just let it go. I just did it spontaneously and let it go. And they reminded me that it was a few months after that that I got that wonderful and bizarre phone call from this wonderful woman in Australia saying she wanted to make a movie about the law of attraction. She read my book, The Attractor Factor, and would I be in it if she pulled up, pulled all the money together and uh, everything else? And, of course, I said yes. And that's my philosophy in life, say yes when the opportunities come. I said yes, and, and son of a gun, my intention, which I had forgotten about, got attracted into my life, and I ended up in the secret which, of course, has led to this domino effect that is not stopping anytime soon. I was the very first person to email my list when Rhonda said the, the DVD and the preview and the sign-up list was all available. So I started, and then all those other teachers, there's 24 teachers in the movie The Secret, many of which have email lists and followings, all told their list, and then, of course, because the preview for The Secret was so mesmerizing and so exciting, everybody told everybody else. And that viral aspect of that marketing kicked in. And this is something that traditional Hollywood and even independent movie makers, for the most part, never knew how to do. But Rhonda leveraged the Internet in a way that hadn't been done before at that point. And so I, I stand here as a marketing person saying, that case study of how that viral marketing worked will be studied and talked about for a long time and modeled because it can work again if you just duplicate the essence of what she did. Well, you always have to have a good product because in marketing, the rule of thumb is you can do things to get people's attention for your product. But if your product is something they really don't like and they don't want, it'll just die. I think the movie was an introduction to the idea and I think it introduced it to people maybe for the first time. And that has been a sore spot for many people. There's a lot of critics who still condemn the movie for being incomplete and for starting something and not finishing it. I defend the movie because I say it's simply a documentary. It was something designed to introduce, and that's it, introduce the law of attraction, personal responsibility, the fact that you do create your own reality or at least co-create your own reality, but it never pretended to be the be-all and end-all. Right. It was simply opening the door and saying, here's the secret. Here's the secret. But that's not all there is. There's more to it. And that's why I've even written some books like The Key, and I've written or I've recorded The Missing Secret to help people understand the deeper aspects of personal responsibility and the law of attraction. But I defend the movie. It doesn't matter if I was in it or not. I'd still say it's one of the greatest gifts ever been given to our planet because it's helped awaken so many people. And even those who are resisting it, sooner or later they'll come around to realize that their own resistance is something they've attracted and it's something they personally created. So they'll begin to feel that they are creating their own reality because of everything they're experiencing. They'll have to look and say, it isn't anybody else making that happen. It's that individual making it happen. So ultimately, they'll awaken, but this is just, uh, you know, they're being stirred.